Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to deploy Spring Boot applications in Kubernetes. Uh, basically, there are five steps that uh, we're going to follow to do this. First, we're going to create the Spring Boot applications. Uh, we're going to create a one application as a Spring Boot application as a gateway and the other another application to call to be called by our uh, gateway application second uh, we're going to uh, uh, create a docker image of this uh, uh, spring boot applications then after we create the, Im the docker image we will push this image to docker hub then we will uh, after pushing the docker image to docker hub we will pull it in our uh, uh, Kubernetes deployment. Then after uh, pulling this image, of course, uh, we will create all the, the uh, Kubernetes uh, components like the deployment uh, component, the pod, the service. Yeah. Then after that, then we uh, we can uh, after that we can run the de the deployment, then test the application. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, first, we will uh, going to create our Spring Boot application. Uh, okay, we go to Spring uh, Initializer website to ge generate the project. So basically, we choose Maven, Java, then the version of Spring Boot, then packaging is jar, the version is eight. Let's uh, change the name. It should be. Uh, the first uh, application should be the gateway, right? So let's make it uh, main, Spring Boot, main, app, okay. Then the dependency, uh, let's make, uh, we need uh, web, okay. Then generate. Okay, that's the first uh, application. The second application will be Basically, this uh, main will, will serve as the gateway, right? Then we will create another app as uh, uh, another app to be called by this uh, gateway. Okay. So basically, we will uh, I will show you how uh, two uh, Spring Boot application talk to each other. Okay. So that's that's the reason why I'm I'm going to uh, create two uh, Spring Boot applications. So we already created the first one. Then the second one is uh, let's say it's, it's called it uh, Spring Boot App One. Okay, the same. Even project Java version is two point four point three jar and version eight. Okay, generate. Okay, then after we generate that, oops, there. We will ex uh let's remove the old one, okay. Extract. Then we open in our IDE. Okay. I Let's go first with that first one. Okay. 
So this is uh, our uh, gateway. First, uh, let's change the, the file name the, of our jar file. We put uh, SB main app. Okay. Save. Then we add some endpoint. In the configuration part, we can uh, mention here. We can make it a yam, yaml file. Okay. So server port, so we can put uh, eighty eighty. Then. Uh, uh, let's say a uh, server service service port will be uh, 80 client service I mean I don't know uh, because uh, we have another another service right with uh, I mean another app service app one right so we put port 80 then spring profile spring profile docker then spring host should be a uh, sp So by default, uh, it's localhost. But if we deploy it in a Docker, the host will be the name of the service, microservice, which is SB1. Okay. So uh, we have two uh, configuration here. These three lines here is uh, the default. If the active profile is a local host or not, uh, by default, this is the the default configuration. But if, if we uh, you uh, if we if we use Docker as the active profile, this uh, configuration will be overridden with this one. Okay. So that's the meaning of this configuration. Save it. Then uh, add value. Access this. Private stream. Oops. Then also the port. We need also the port. Wire. 
press temp press template For debugging purpose, we, we put the host here, so we done the port also. Okay, so later we can we can see the actual host and port parameters. So this is the first uh, endpoint that uh, we created. We create another endpoint to call the other Spring Boot application. Uh, yeah. This template. First, we need the, we need the service URL. Service URL, which is equal to HTTP. Then host. Then port. Plus the uh, the endpoint the endpoint okay service URL this is and this is the endpoint of the other service okay. So the, the the first application is our will serve as our gateway, and we create we added two endpoint for this uh, application. The first one is uh, test one, will display this uh, information, host and the port. The second endpoint will call the other Spring Boot application. The URL of the uh, other uh, other Spring Boot application is uh, uh, we, uh, basically we configure it in our uh, application that uh, YML basically uh, by default the host is local host but later after we we deploy in uh, Kubernetes we will choose we will override this host with the actual name of the service which is sb dash uh, app one okay that's why we have a uh, spring profile here the purpose of this profile is to override the default host right so we're done with the first uh, spring boot application we can build it now. Deal install. Deal install. Okay. So while building this uh the first Spring Boot application, let's go to the other uh Spring Boot app. Okay, this is the second uh, Spring Boot application that we created. 
we just generate that okay. here we will add the endpoint so that because here in our gateway we call this endpoint slash test so we need to add that endpoint here at rest controller get mapping public string uh, test it should be test because here in our we, in our main application we call it test right so it has to be test okay then we can return any string here so let's say hello Then the file name must be because by default the file name will be based on this artifact and the version, right? So we we want to explicitly uh, put the final uh, name of the jar, which is sb Spring Boot at one. That build. Okay. Oh, I have some error here. We can we can simply uh, delete this. We don't need the unit test for now. our jar file executable jar So now uh, we just generated the executable jar for our main uh, application. Okay. The other one, uh, let's, what's the problem with this one? There. Anyway, the jar file that we need is here. I'm not, no, I'm not, I don't know for some reason we cannot access this. Maybe is an a bug in the uh, IntelliJ. But basically, we already generated the two Spring Boot apps that we needed to deploy in our Kubernetes. The first one is the uh, this one. Uh, Spring Boot main app that jar, and the second one is the uh, Spring uh, Spring Boot uh, dash app one that jar. SB dash main that app that jar and SB dash app one that jar. Okay, so basically we need to copy this 
to jar files to our uh, our server where we we where we uh, basically in our uh, Kubernetes environment. So in our uh, in my case, I already copy these apps here. These are the two uh, Spring Boot apps that we just uh, uh, created just now. Okay, so next step is uh, after we created that Spring uh, Spring Boot applications, we need to create a Docker image for these uh, two Spring Boot applications. So the command is, of course, we need the Docker file. I already prepared the two Docker file to build the Docker image. I'll show you the content of this. So to create the Docker image for a Spring Boot application, this is the script that we need. Let me show it to you. Docker file. Okay. Basically, we need four, four lines in our Docker file. First is the from from uh, OpenJDK image, which is version eight. This will be this image should be downloaded from Docker Hub. Okay, after okay after downloading that, uh, we need to. Uh, we need to copy this uh, jar file. Basically, this is the this is uh, we we set the parameter jar file parameter here, and copy it. Copy it to, uh, internally, in a container. Copy it to a and uh, the same file name, basically. But actually, you can. You can put any file name here, but in my case, I just make it the same. So it's, it, uh, I will not get confused. I know that uh, it's the same thing, right? So basically, we copy it to uh, sb -app jar, which is the same as the original. Then the entry point, this is normally the command when we run the jar, java-jar, and the name of the jar file. So that's the, the content of our first Docker file. Let me show you the other Docker file. This one is the same content. We just changed the name of the uh, jar file. Instead of uh, sb -app -app one we, uh, we use the other name of the jar file, which is the main. sb -app -main jar. okay? So basically the same, same, same content. Uh, the difference is only the name of the jar file because we have two jar files to uh, cre to create to image basically okay so then uh, after we created the two script we can uh, we, we just need to run them and then the the docker image will be created accordingly so the command to to run this script is just docker docker uh, build docker build file uh, the file name is docker1 docker file 1 that's target the name should be uh, for docker1 uh, let's say SB does up up app one okay so docker build does app docker file one does target then SB does up one so this is the first docker image that we are going to create okay okay then the second one is same thing. We just change the the file name. 
and the name of the the name of the Docker image, which is based we base it on uh, the name of the jar file. SB main SB up main. Okay. Okay. Then after creating our image, let's check get a uh, Docker. Images. So here we go. So the, these are the two images, uh, Docker images that we created just now. SB up one and SB up main. Okay, so we need to uh, upload this in uh, Docker image to Docker Hub. So in order to do that, you need to create a uh, an account in Docker Hub. It's it's free and it's free, so it's uh, it's like creating an email address. So in my case, I already created my account, so I going I'm going to log in. Docker Login. Okay. Then, to push that image, we need to uh, we need to tag the the local Im uh, Docker image, right? The Docker tag SB app main the ID your account your Docker basically your Docker name Uh, disconnected 